Hi there, I'm Jonathan Strickland and this is Forward Thinking. And no, you're not imagining things. I'm not in my white environment where I can control everything with my mind. I'm just in the office today. But I was thinking this week about the concept of innovation and invention. You know, we often think of inventors as being the sole source of inventions, like a, like a Thomas Edison and the light bulb. But the truth is, these inventions were actually the result of lots of people working together to make it a reality. In fact, I would say that most innovation is the result of collaboration. And that got me to thinking, who better to talk to than my good buddy Chuck Goulash, senior executive engineer with the Collaborative Safety Research Center. Now, because of our partnership with Toyota, we were able to arrange this, and Chuck had some interesting things to say about collaboration and innovation. The CSRC stands for the Collaborative Safety Research Center, collaborative being a big word there. So what sort of research has come out as a result of this collaborative effort? We've got a project to actually build an articulated mannequin that uh, appears to a vehicle properly uh, from a radar uh, cross-section perspective. We're working uh, with Ohio State to do that. Uh, and this this dummy, uh, they've, they've named him Steve. Steve moves and walks like a, a real person, and it's contributing to the industry and the understanding of how to test uh, pedestrian impacts. So we're really looking at not just making cars safer, but making an entire infrastructure safer, right? This is really about improving everything. That's correct. The CSRC is intending to contribute to industry, to uh, to society, uh, and uh, you don't have to be in a Toyota vehicle to benefit from the uh, research that we're doing with our partners. So this is actually, this is where that collaborative effort really comes into play, where we're talking about engineers, scientists, doctors, all coming together and gathering information we otherwise would not have available to us for multiple applications. We're actually building communities uh, where they wouldn't normally have come together, whether it's a, uh, a, uh, a pediatric surgeon in uh, Philadelphia or a computer scientist in uh, San Diego or a biomechanics uh, researcher in uh, North Carolina. There's new communities that are being uh, developed and the information is exchanged and, and so it, it, it's really exciting. So there you have it, collaboration making the world a better place. I mean, in this one example, we have vehicles becoming safer, we have cars talking to each other, congestion could become a thing of the past, we could have lower fuel consumption as a result, less time spent in traffic jams, less road rage. Even then, we have doctors who are learning about the human body in extreme conditions and improving health as a result. The world is demonstrably becoming a better place because people are working together. So I have a question for all of you. If you could get three of the greatest minds of any disciplines together in a room, who would they be and what would they create? Let us know in the comments and make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video. We've got a lot more videos about the future coming up really soon.